if you go and look at the case of Ben Tech coming from Indonesia, there's basically no reason actually as to why a player would make it from there. The fact that he basically even got to become someone that Westerners would know and want to recruit, I think it's one of the most unlikely stories probably in Counter-Strike history. My name is Hansel, my nickname is Bentet, and I play for Genji Sports. I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. When you play CSGO at Indonesia, there is not much team here. First of all, he comes from a region that has absolutely no tenure, no legacy in Counter-Strike the franchise, even the old versions. There was never any team from Indonesia that accomplished anything, there was never any player that accomplished anything, and yet his route to getting the success that he's had was basically like doing it the hard way. I start joining Indonesian team, which is pretty small back then, but it's something. Yeah, I would say I was a competitive person. I like to not give up if I see someone is better than me, I need to practice more to to become better than him. Oh, one HP, no way, Benten! How are you alive? He's now going to look for this frag, he's got this ace blocked down. I don't think Bash has it, he doesn't! Benten pulls it in with an ace. So for Benten to be actually originally found, he played on a team called Team NXL, which at the first Asia Minor went 0-3 immediately. They lost every map that they played. Yet, despite that, Bentet had the highest rating in the entire tournament, so he was absolutely going to turn some heads, and Tyloo acquired him within a year after that. Tyloo is one of the best team in Asia to play CSGO, and Tyloo asked me at, at a very good moment. I'm not scared, I think. I just take the risk, take the challenge. Without thinking any longer, I said yes, and then I joined Tyloo. <laughs> I find a sandbag, he's got no help, he's at the point, there it is! Benton, what the hell is this? Is he gonna get the ace? He's so close, how is he still alive? Rock pulling out, but it's Benton, what are you doing? Which means he gets it down to a one-on-one, -on -one. he can still swing out on Voxic, that's very well done from Benton. He's still going in, that's a beautiful flashback. coming out, oh, oh my, my goodness, God. Benton, you can't do that, that is disgusting! Ooh, good opening kill from Benten. Oh, he's got a spray through as well. And two flash assists from Summer. Oh, and the spin as well. A third kill. And Benten is just wrecking G2 in this map. He's going to add a fourth onto it. What an absolute monster. Benten, he's starting to get the timing right. One down. Surely not oh again. My he's God. done it. So close so many times. But this time he gets the cigar. And Benten doesn't even blink. Yeah, I think back then we... We dominate the Asia scene with Tyloo. I mean, the first time I heard of Ben Tet was probably when I wasn't even involved in Team CS. It was probably just me watching one of the majors or one of the tournaments which Tyloo would regularly qualify for. And I think it was just as a fan, probably the first time I heard of Ben Tet was a better player than the level that Tyloo was able to actually compete at internationally. The fact that uh, coming from his region, he is essentially a diamond in the rough, wasn't he? He's a guy who's just over in the scene where he's never going to make it if he's stuck over there, most likely, because just not enough other factors that can help you. But he could be a great pickup potentially for a Western team. Tyler knew that uh, playing internationally is my goal, like playing in an A. And I tell them that I really want to join GNG to compete at North America, and they support me. Now I'm at uh, North America with Genji, which is, I'm very grateful for this opportunity because I, re I really want to compete at North America to play CSGO player, yeah. Yeah, to have a, have a player come from Asia and be brought into a Western team is, I think, incredibly rare. I think it's maybe been tried one or two other times before and both of them uh, didn't go very well. So I think we've been uh, very happy with how, how it's kind of come across, I think way better than, than what's happened before. I like uh, living here in, at America and I'm just so happy to live and compete here. It's the moment you've all been waiting for, the grand finals here at DreamHack Anaheim 2020. And to have this crossfire with Kooster, damage oh! done on the dig. Bentet looking for a bit more, and there's a third for him, still alive, and the bomb at his feet, Bentet could do it all. He's got one, the bomb tap, they have to stick it, Daps has won the round, and surely this is done, it is. 19-15, Genji go flawless in overtime, and they are your DreamHack Open Anaheim champions. With Genji, we compete 
at DreamHack Anaheim, we managed to get first place. I think it's really great for us. And they win it. They win it, right? Their first event. That is a strong honeymoon period. And you're supposed to be able to ride that sort of momentum moving forward for the rest of the year. Um, so it's so unfortunate that that it got it's it got stopped short, so short before they could ride it out. Pretty much straight after that, I think we played one match of Flashpoint and then everything just got shut down. The pandemic is not that much at Indonesia. Yeah, it's worse at the United States than Jakarta. It sucks, I think. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Yeah, my parents is kind of worried about me, but they trust me. They just said, wearing masks, please wear masks every day and don't go outside. And I tell them, yeah, don't worry about it. I, I didn't go anywhere and I just follow the protocols. I don't know, I just worried to get the virus and can't compete again and can't play in CS again while I'm still recovering the virus, I think. I'm just not thinking about it, about the pandemic, because I think like the pandemic will be over maybe soon or later. So I just trying to having fun with my coach every day because I live with him. It definitely could have gone poorly being locked in the house uh, with the with the wrong person. He's taken a big leap to come over here uh, to America as of high. I mean, it's not easy to be away from home all of this time. So I think it's been really good for, for me to stay with him and I'm glad he's appreciative. I know he's appreciative. So it's been really good from that point of view to have someone as nice as him to, to be stuck in and stuck in a house with for all this time. We cook together at apartment and we sometimes we go walk, take a walk together to get some fresh air. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool to live with him. We try and obviously do some stuff together, like sometimes we'll we'll make dinner together or, you know, cute little things like that. <laughs> and just try to uh, just keep each other sane because it's, it's obviously a little bit lonely sometimes just being stuck in your rooms. Our cooking together is not, not a, a wide, a wide spread of things. Fried rice, pasta. He does cook an Indonesian dish. I'm unfortunately not very good at handling spice, so um, I did try it and it, it was just a little bit too much for me. I, I start sweating like an idiot when I eat too much spicy foods. Yeah, I think he's pretty good guy. I like to live with him. And now it's just been the two of us for six months. And as you said, we've been basically locked, <laughs> locked in the house together. We head across the office every now and then, but yeah, we've just been locked together. We we have our own little schedules and. Yeah, it's been pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. Of course, I have a friends instead of being alone here. I have a friends at my apartment. Yeah, I think it's good. I couldn't ask for a better roommate and someone to live with and be stuck here in America with. So it's been good from that point of view. He is a unique talent. Um, I think mechanically he's very, very high up there. So it was worth the risk of going to Indonesia and picking him up and giving him a go. He is that talented that it's worth the risk. I start to join American team, which is one of my dream. And at age 25, I don't think it's pretty bad to compete at United States to start competing here as a career. And I think this team has potential moving forward. Thank you.